Hello guys, welcome back to High Potter and the Chamber of Secrets to the PS2. My name is the Duke and we're going to go on to the first night mission of this game. And I don't know what we're going to do, but we've just woken up out of bed apparently, randomly. Um, Harry must need to do something, but we're going to be shoehorned into a pointless task for Hermione. Here she is. Harry, just the person I've been looking for. Something dreadful has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. How? And I suppose you want me to get him out. <laughs> Would you? That's so kind of you, Harry. He's out here. Harry seemed to expect that he was going to be asked to do this, but let's talk to Neville anyway. Neville? How did you end up back there? <laughs> he was looking for Trevor, his toad, and he went the wrong way. Now he's stuck. Well, can't you get him out, Hermione? No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? The Bollichy Green has three in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up cork lumps. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. That'll tell you how to do it. Okay, so I've got to go into the library on the second floor and get a copy of Lockhart's book, and then go out into the grounds and find my way into the Herbology Greenhouse to get the Severing Charm. I do like how he repeats the whole thing just to make sure we know, but why is it that Hermione doesn't know how to do a Severing Charm and why can't Neville just pull this tapestry to the side and get out? Is he even there? Yeah, he's actually standing there, look. Why can't he just, like, I don't know, pull the tapestry aside or just do a running jump at it? It's not that heavy unless it's one of those special tapestries you can't move. Anyway, we've got to now avoid the prefix with the most obnoxious camera angle possible. Huh? Hey, you Let's just do this for no reason and watch the camera angle Go zoom away from the them. Yes, yeah, so now basically at night time we have to avoid these prefix. Now luckily the guy here on the first on this floor will not take points from us. Um, but all the other ones can and will take points from you if they catch you. I must have been hearing things. Hey, you! No, I don't care about your hey, you. I just want to get out. Anyway, I closed down a few applications that were using a bit of CPU. Um, so we shouldn't have any more stutters in the video feed anymore. I see Random White just started there given the application in question that I shut down. It's been running since the last couple of episodes, but never mind. And I also, here's another thing I don't understand. Hermione knows how to get into the, the Herbology Greenhouse, but she won't go and get it herself. And how does she not know how to do a Severing Charm? She can do Reparo, as demonstrated in the first book, but she can't seem to know how to cut tapestries. I don't know. A uh, bit more sorry, I don't know what that's about. Could just be the game. I'll put it down to the game and the fact that we're recording at the same time. So here's the first proper stealth section. And these guys will take points from us uh, if we're not careful. Now, helpfully, on this first uh, stealth section, they walk across the styles like this. Um, when we come out, they change into a pattern where this guy will wander around this stall and the, the dude in the middle will wander around that other stall over there. All we have to do is avoid them. Not too difficult. Just cast a spell when no one's in the line of that? fire. And cast sure another spell down here. here. Now you could do this without casting spells. I just do this because it's easier. And into I'm this sure bit where they can't see you, apparently. Uh, some of the spell sessions can be quite tough, um, but I will show you how to get through them without getting caught. I might do a separate video at some point just getting caught on purpose, but I don't think I'll do that. I don't see a point in it, it doesn't really achieve very much to be honest. Also, why do we have to get a book written by Gilderoy Lockhart? I'm pretty sure any book of history would tell us how to pull up a hork clump, including even a book about herbology. A copy of Marauding the Monsters by Gilderoy Lockhart. I don't actually know why we need this particular book. Just, I don't get it. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're just going to search these bookshelves to get beans. Also, I should point out that these uh, things over here, these bits of paper, 
will uh, give you hints about how to get uh, wizard cards um, if you need them. As if you would need hints on how to get wizard cards. I think we know how to get them. Just gotta avoid the flying books. And we'll get a couple of beans. But we're not going to spend too much time in here. I like, I do like how they put the effect of putting all the books flying around up there. Get away from me, ghost. Like, I do like the effect that they have of actually making the library look realistic by having books flying around. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, one other thing. Uh, up these two pathways here, there and there, there's one uh, wizard card behind... Um, different spells that you learn later. So there's one, uh, four cards, one for each of the spells that you will learn over the course of the game. But we're not going to do that right now. We don't have any spells. So let's just exit out of the library and not get caught. So as you'll notice, the prefects have now changed their pathway. This guy is still wandering around the one in front of us, but the other two now wander around the stalls. We could just do that and not get caught very easily. That was quite easily timed. Um, you could hang around and wait for a more um, opportune moment, but as time progresses, they tend to get into a bit more of sync and you will get caught more likely. Uh, let's see, is this door open over here? I don't know why you could go into the charms class. There's no reason to go in there. You don't have the Alha Mora spell book and there's no reason to go in there either. Uh, there is always a card that we will get later, um, but I'll wait until nearer that time. And we're down the floor as we go, and into the entrance hall, which also has prefix, if you did guess. But this one's really easy to get through, and there's not there's a lot of open space and not much coverage. Um, and because of our line of sight, they, there's a distance before they detect you, so the line of sight is basically from here where I'm standing to where the second pillar is on the left. So where that guy's gone up the stairs just now, that's the line of sight of a prefect in this game. So all we have to do is, he walks over there, wait for this guy to walk down to the left, and run. Also, apparently, even though these uh, hourglasses are empty, uh, they won't see you through the glass. Helpful. Let's just head out into the grounds and get past the prefects very easily. There are four out here, but they're very easy to avoid. And because of the massive distance between them, uh, it's easy to get attracted to one by one prefect, but not pick up any others because of that distance. Uh, there's one prefect who patrols down this cloister spit, if we just look down the right hand side here. But you never need to go down there. You do have to run though, because there is a prefect coming out of the tunnel. Um, then there's a prefect that wanders around this outer line. So see this line here? He will follow the path all the way around to where the entrance door is and then turn back. Effectively. This is where it's actually really easy to get rid of prefects. All I have to do is cast this spell. Now his way of getting there is to run down there, through the tunnel and around this outer path. And in all that time, we will be able to get past him without being seen. Like so. No challenge at all. You could do more extravagant methods to try and collect them, but there's no reason to do that. Let's head into the Herbology Greenhouses. Literally the only time we ever have to go in here is to get this spell book. Other than that, it's pointless. The only thing I don't like about this game is how they do... Um, make whole areas just for one purpose and never reuse them. So apparently this door here is locked. Why, I don't know. It just forces me to do this. And apparently you have to get the book before you can do this. Which is stupid. Never mind. Pick up this. Throw it. Attempt to target this guy without getting hit. Let's 
pick up this wizard card, which just happens to be here. No idea why it's here, but it is. That's 21. And then we can get to Findo. Apparently a 7 charm that we do require. Um, Defindo can be cast in certain tapestries or wall hangings to reveal Hever to four uh, hidden entrances. That's literally all it's for. Actually no it's not, it's also used to progress in spell challenges often enough. So let's exit. Ow, should have taken that hit. How about we just drink this potion and refill it right here since we're right here. Other than that spellbook, there's literally no reason to come out to the Herbology Greenhouse. I suppose the portable um, Wigan Wild potion stump thing helps. Now let's just put this here. And now exit. So that's has got the spellbook, let's go and, you know, help Neville. That was unfair. It almost cost me a bean. Let's see if we can get a few beans. Um, actually, you know, let's not bother. It's too much effort. So let's head back across the It's a little bit harder uh, going this way because you don't have a wall protecting you and you can be easily seen as a result. But we'll give it a go. If we lose points, we lose points. That's all that matters. Now, if I just do this correctly, if we can get the game to target. Let's see if we can find the guy. Don't know where the guy is, but let's just um, keep going. So I cast a spell once, it might be a bit further up. I just want to demonstrate that you can cast this spell at quite distance and hit prefix. Come on. Seriously? We must have run quite a bit further forward then. I was expecting, but you can um the good thing about Defindo is, particularly in the grounds, you can cast it at some significant distance uh, to attract prefects. Now I think we will attract these two just here. Yeah, they're turning around. And because of the way the grounds are, they will basically turn to run at wherever the spell was cast from, not where it hit. So they're running all the way out here, because that's where the spell was cast from. And of course, if I stop and wait for them to get to that point, they will then turn at me, basically. <coughs> oh, excuse me folks, that was an unexpected cough. So now they're going to turn around to go to where I was just standing there because they heard another spell at the same time. The only problem is about flicking it into the little dead zones. Defendo! Oh come on. How was that? Yes, yeah, so let's get ourselves caught in here. This epic um, music, in my opinion. Whoa, that was a lot of fleas there. Oh, hey, you. And there's another guy who's come along to join the fun. Hey, but never mind. You. I don't know why the game froze there, and um, that was odd. Um. I don't have any of our running pros that could affect that, but never mind. So we just avoided getting caught, just because I wanted to demonstrate that that's how you avoid prefects. Cast a spell right there. Um, this will attract only this dude to run right around the, the bottom floor, while we can just run straight up and not be caught. Like so. Easy as pie. I will just say though, actually, that emulator thing that just happened there, I actually find it's quite common with the grounds. Um, it does cause um, some stalls. I don't know why. 
I do see every so often in my uh, emulator console that there's a bit about the, the, the console stalling. But never mind, let's progress onward. Oh, what's happened here? Oh no! Oh no, nearly Headless Dick has been petrified. Whatever shall we do? And there's a message there Mr. that you can read what? and I can't. What on earth is... Oh, what's happened here? And I like I how there's a Scottish know. accent in that. Like this. Follow me, Potter. Professor, I swear I didn't. I know in the, in the, the lore that Minerva McGonagall is Scottish. And I do like how in that little scene there, they put that a little bit of an inflection into the way she said the words. Anyway, cut scene. Harry was taken to Professor Dumbledore's office. Where he came across the sorting hat. You've been wondering whether I put you in the right house. Yes, well, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. And he also discovered Fawkes, Professor Dumbledore's pet phoenix. Fascinating creatures, phoenixes. They can carry immensely heavy loads. Their tears have healing powers, and they make highly faithful pets. And, of course, Professor Dumbledore himself. I know you're not the attacker, Harry, but I must ask you whether there is anything you'd like to tell me. Come. Come to me. Let me rip you. Let me tear you. Anything at all? No, there isn't anything, Professor. Very well, if you're sure. Good night, Harry. Night, Professor. So in that one cutscene, we learned the Chamber of Secrets has been opened and Harry is hearing voices. I don't know what that means, but we will find out probably in due course. Possibly in the next couple of videos, actually. Um, so you're never just going to get back to the common room and help Neville. I don't understand the point of this door because it's always locked. Um, so yeah, let's head back up. Now we've got a defender spell, we can now do this. Yeah, well, not that. They can do this. There's a Lyle Homura chest there, but we're not going to bother with that. Um, actually, let's not go down there. Let's just go back up to the common room. Um, this will probably be the last recording I'll do for today. Uh, the last, the previous, the recording I did yesterday. No, not yesterday. What am I saying? Yesterday. As if the video was uploaded yesterday. No, that's not the case. Um, the recordings I did earlier, so the previous two parts were recorded on the same day. And uh, this will be the last one for the day. Just because I've covered quite a bit of content and I don't want to push too much into the game. I want to just sort of take it nice and chill. But I also want to um, do some records for other content today as well. Hey, you. Hey, you. Let's just get caught for no reason. Just because I like these scenes. You shouldn't be out at night. Go back to the dormitory. Love how he doesn't move his lips for that. Oh, stalls again. Bird. Yeah, let's just progress through here and into the tower. Yes, yeah, so we can now get um, Neville free now. I'm actually going to do this here because otherwise, when you go back, I'll always turn a minute. Actually, thanks, Harry. I thought I was never going to get out of there. Nice one, Harry. Well, all this excitement has worn me out. I think I'll head off to bed. But Hermione. Nearly had this nick has been attacked, and I... Oh, I'll, I'll tell you in the morning. No, you won't, because you won't even speak to her about it. Um, so what I was going to say is, if you go into the reading room and then come back out, and then do that, there's a really obnoxious sound effect that plays across the top of all of them speaking. Uh, that's why I did that uh, particular thing just there. If you just dive in here, there's a wizard card that Neville could have easily picked up. Um, never mind. Now, I was hoping to get enough beans and I could have gone to Fred and George and got another wizard card, but never mind. So, 
yeah. I think that will be it for this video. We'll just take a save. And I'll have to just look into these emulator stalls and just see if it's just maybe something I can resolve. Maybe it's just a program I've got running in the background that I can close. And um, we can look into it there. And that'll be in the next video. Hopefully I have those sorted. So thanks for watching. We're going to head to bed. And I will see you in the next video for the next day mission. Day number two. Bye now.